friends welcome to our swag so today it is the 65th episode in science series so in science today it is chemistry so today we can discuss about another element of the periodic table and that element is the element silicon you may have heard of the silicon valley and that valley is named after this element itself so silicon is a chemical element with the symbol si and the atomic number 14 that means it has 14 atoms i mean not atoms electrons as well as 14 protons yes so it is a hard brittle crystalline solid with a blue gray metallic luster because it is a metal and it is a tetravalent metalloid and a semiconductor so mainly it is used in phones and many other things because it is a semiconductor it is like used in like wires yes so it is also very hard and it is like it is somewhat crystalline and also shiny like that yes so it is it is relatively unreactive because mostly it is in the right side of the periodic table and the elements in that side of the periodic table are very unreactive yes so group 4 it is in group 14 and period 3 here group is like the columns and the periods are the row yes that means it is in the 14th group as well as the 13th row i mean third row sorry so its phase its standard temperature and pressure is it's normally a solid that means yes so its melting point is 1687 mm, kelvin yes like all other metals its boiling point i mean melting point is very high next its boiling point 3538 kelvin very very high temperatures so next its standard density is 2.32 grams per cubic centimeter yes so the denser but then water so next its application so most silicon is used industrially without being purified without purifying from other ingredients inside that silicon yes so next more than 90% of the earth's crust is comprised of silicon silicate materials because normally rocks are just mostly at least have lots of silicon in it yes so ro- like rocks are basically silicon plus oxygen plus many other smaller elements yes so next many of these have direct commercial uses such as clay silica sand and kinds of building stone so these silicate rocks are also used in commercial ways yes so next it is used to make ceramics like plates or even toilets yeah next it is used in glass manufacturing next glass fibers as well as optical fibers and then it is used in quantum dots as well as it is used in the semiconductor industry because it's a semiconductor and it is used lots of in smartphones and electronic devices yes see so yeah this is for today about silicon one of the most useful elements bye